Hey guys, Gaston from Connecting Tennis here. Welcome again to another video. Today, after many requests, okay, many uh, people asking for this uh, this video, this lesson, we're gonna be working finally in the kick serve, okay, from the outside. It's a really good shot, really important, okay. It's it's really important that you guys understand that you need to control this serve. It's gonna give you a lot of free points, okay, if we can call it somehow. Uh, yes, because you can make a winner with this serve. You can make actually an ace with this serve but also because it's gonna give you the opportunity if you really control, if you have a really good kick serve, okay, you're gonna be able to push the player out of the court, maybe two or three steps and early in the point, okay, with the first ball, he's gonna be already three steps back, okay, behind the baseline. So there are a lot of chances that he's gonna uh, have to push, okay, that return back to the baseline, trying to avoid uh, you attacking with the second ball. So let's go into the three easy steps that we're gonna follow, really easy steps, okay, that we're gonna see, three keys that you can miss to have this, uh, to master, okay, to have this great kick serve from the outside. Of course, the same three steps are gonna follow, maybe shifting one or two things a little, if you do it from the outside to do a kick serve to the tee, we're gonna have another video with that, don't worry, we're gonna get to this. But first, let's go from the outside, the kick serve. So first step, okay, really important, continental grip. You need to have this grip. It's gonna uh, allow you to get from behind the ball, okay, to brush the ball, okay. Of course, you really need to be sideways to be able, to, with the continental grip, to get from behind the ball and brush to the side. So first step, continental grip. Second step that we're gonna be talking now is the toss of the ball. When we have in another video, we have talked about the toss between 12 and one for the flat serve, uh, a little more shifted to num to one o'clock, okay, for the slice uh, from the due side. Now we're gonna need the ball between maybe 10 and 12, okay, shifting between those two points, because yes, we need the ball a little uh, to the left to be able to brush from left to right and make the ball get a lot of a spin, okay, a lot of revolution and make it bounce really high in the other side. Like I said, to push the player, not only behind, but to the side of the court and leave all the court open for you to be able to finish or to create a, a great damage in the second ball. So we have the grip, we have the toss a little, I'm gonna be showing you uh, everything, don't worry, I'm gonna be showing you fast motion serves, slow motion, I'm gonna mark some things, okay, in, in a picture, okay, in a screenshot that I'm gonna take from, from my serve, so you can see actually what we talk about, step one, step two, that was the toss, and now we go to step three. The step three is actually very important because it's the shoulder rotation, okay, if you start from trophy position here to the kick serve and you make an early pronation, okay, you, you face the core when you're gonna do it, okay, you do this rotation and you try to make a kick serve like this, you're not gonna be able to get from left to right to create that revolution in the ball. So here, we, also, we talk also with the early pronation, that, that mistake in the slide serve that we have when you pronate fast, that people think that the fast pronation is gonna make the ball go from right to left. Here's the same thing, guys from left to right, okay, for the kick serve, you need to, from this serve specifically, you need to stay sideways, okay, as much as possible, sideways to the court, to be able to get from behind the ball and brush. Now, the difference here is that we always talk about the pronation like this, flat and slide serves, we talk about this. Serve here, trophy position, their rotation, okay, following the same line in the shoulder, trying to keep the same line, okay, for the shoulders, here we talk of this and we say that the pronation was here and the pronation is more linear okay because you're trying to aim with the slice or with the tee to the middle of the box now that we need to go to the side of the box okay the pronation is gonna be here okay from trophy position you're gonna be shifting but the pronation is gonna be to the side okay this is why i say that the continental grip needs to be perfect there because if you don't have the continental grip it's really hard to get okay from the eight okay from behind the ball and push to the side to be able to pronate so like i said i'm gonna be showing now you're gonna see how it looks we're gonna go step by step uh with the seven slow motion you're gonna be able to see uh how to do this and we're gonna okay go again with the three steps so let's see how it looks i'm gonna do a couple of serves for you guys and we're gonna be back here trucking and trying to analyze the serves that I did. Before we get to the serves, I'm gonna show you one thing that I, I used to do when I when I was learning this serve. I, I still do it sometimes to warm up my shoulder, okay, and my wrist for the pronation. And it's this movement here without the ball. Like we say, we need the pronation here really sideways, okay? Really sideways. And you need to pronate not forward, to the side, okay, here to the side. 
So one thing that I used to do, and it's really good, so you get used to, okay, you get the habit for the motion, is without the ball doing the whole motion here, bending and going to the side, okay, here, bending and going to the side, okay, from the racket, okay, with the racket from behind, I'm pronating to the side, as you can see my wrist here breaks to the side. It's really good, it's really important, it's going to be a good trick that is going to help you to warm up and to get the habit for then what you do with the ball. Now yes, let's see how the serves look. So you guys could see there um, the serves that I did, okay, fast motion, slow motion, and I also, uh, the marks that I did in the screenshot that I took from one of the serves, when I, I marked the three keys, okay, the grip, the toss of the ball a little in the left, how I bend my knees, okay, and the pronation to the side, how I finish, okay, with that shoulder pronation to the side. And I also mark one extra thing, okay, which would be the number four, um, a wider stance in my legs, okay, different than if I was serving, okay, to the T that I, I have more linear here, I created a bigger base to have more uh, power, the stronger base, okay, we can say, to go up to the ball. So I hope you guys uh, like this video. I hope you guys, of course, enjoy it like I'm doing it. Um, remember to practice, it's not an easy serve, okay? It took, it took me many, many years to learn, you know, okay, to be able to master that brushing in the ball, to then uh, be effective in the matches okay and trust this serve as a second serve I, you do it a lot in, as first serve okay if you're playing doubles you will be uh, standing even wider on the court okay closer to the to the alleys okay to double alleys so you're gonna have a better angle to push the player out of the net and then make it easier for the person in the net to be able to close so either for single or for double this is great make sure you practice if you like the video okay please share with your friends and all your tennis friends if you didn't subscribe to the channel, please guys subscribe so you stay tuned. You don't miss any of the content. Thank you guys and see you next time.